Hampshire, as you know, is uh, located on Chuk. And uh, this Chuk uh, is very special. And for me, uh, gives something different to the wines. Certainly, the, the vines are also struggling to grow. It's, uh, it's unbelievable how they can grow here because you've got that much of topsoil and then it's pure chalk. Uh, so I think the chalk certainly gives something special. This vineyard, so first planted in 2003, the, um, the uh, big advantage of planting it then was that we managed to, uh, to to plant and, and work out what soil we had and what sort of rootstocks we could, we could plant to work out if, uh, what works best to, for, for this soil. You have to think of the chalk like a sponge. So um, actually, you see, uh, even after a big rain, you can still walk. Um, and also, it's a trap of the, the warmth. So then during the night, uh, the chalk gives it back to the vines. Chalk effectively is a very poor um, uh, soil to grow on, uh, effectively, and it's a, the um, and there's a, it's um, it, it, it's always moist. It's a, it, um, uh, chalk works like a like a big sponge as a rock, I suppose, and the um, uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a, a drought is never generally a problem with a, for, for vines. Um, what's the what vines can do? Which the vines can be generally quite lazy with their roots, and they'll just stay in the topsoil if, if possible. We've uh, used these cover crops to make sure that they, uh, the, 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 uh, the vine roots really get inside the uh, chalk and really uh, get, get themselves established inside the chalk. I have been what we call a flying winemaker, uh, making wine around the world. In England, this is the biggest challenge ever in my life because that weather is completely unpredictable. In one day, you can have four seasons. And this is why it is also so attractive to work here because obviously it's something different. Um, the wine industry in England is just blossoming and to be part of that and especially at Exton Park because we built all the project. We have been building the project, the, the winery, we planted the vines. So in England you are still a bit free. There is something different here, something to, to identify, to define uh, and certainly we are perhaps making a new category of wine. Okay, so let's, uh, let's try open a bottle of uh, Exton Park Reserve Brut. So, I am absolutely French, um, and that's for sure. However, uh, I am certainly not here in England to make uh, a kind of copy of champagne. Um, we, we know uh, that champagne uh, could uh, easily always be an obvious comparison to English sparkling wines um, because of the similarities of uh, the geology of the two uh, souls. However, uh, there is something different, something else, something to define, to identify. It is uh, like uh, creating a new style in a fashion. So with Exton Park Brut, you are in the secret of the reserve uh, wines. Um, um, it's not an understatement to say that the weather in England can be unpredictable. I like to say that you can have four seasons in one day. Because of that, um, it's, it's quite challenging to create a consistency in the wines and uh, um, I wanted to achieve that. So as explained, the, the Brut, Exton Park Brut Reserve uh, is made with a blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. And the Chardonnay effectively gives uh, the, the strength. It's very long, not sharp, just like a backbone. And then the Pinot Noir, in fact, uh, gives um, and the roundness and, uh, and mixed with the Chardonnay, it, it's very well balanced. I do believe that um, the, the saltiness we are um, mentioning comes from the terroir. Uh, without the terroir, which is the choke, 
uh, here at Exxon Park, you won't have that. Um, I'm sure that uh, that yodin you can taste um, in, is something from the terroir. If someone would have asked me or told me years ago that first I would become a winemaker and then I would make wine in England, I certainly would have loved. Somehow it would be like a joke. Uh, now I think people trust what we can achieve here. It's the, a mature wine, uh, but still very fresh. I like that freshness. I think this is very English. I've been very lucky. I think I've got certainly one of the greatest jobs in the world. Thank you.